it's Kimberly and you're watching Pop Style TV and we're here at the McAllen Rare Cast event and we're about to taste some amazing whiskey. We are here at this amazing McAllen event. We have Craig Bridger with us. He's the brand ambassador for McAllen. I'm sure everyone wants to know Craig, how do you get a job as a brand ambassador for one of the most amazing products in the world? Well, uh, the, the, the easy answer is um, I got very, very lucky. Um, a, a more in-depth answer is uh, after years of tending bar in New York City, uh, writing about fine spirits and whiskeys for a lot of publications, um, I realized that I had developed such a level of specialized knowledge about, about these, these products that uh, it made sense to, to try to work for one of them and fortunately I got the chance to work for the Rolls Royce of single malts, so very, very blessed. You sure did. And what is your favorite Macallan that you drink? Well, if I had to take one to a desert island, it would probably be the Macallan Rare Cask, our newest expression. It's a lovely, silky, uh, luxurious expression of our whiskey. Great. Okay, we have to go over here and take a little walk, so everyone follow right. us. What is this? I have no idea. You have to explain this. Oh, over here? So over here we're, we're, we're highlighting the journey of our casks from, from the point at which we are harvesting uh, the trees from the ancient forests of northern Spain and Cantabria um, oh, wow. to uh, cutting those trees into staves. Uh, they're air dried for three years, which is quite unusual. A lot of whiskey producers dry their staves in ovens for efficiency, but we let that happen naturally and those rich tannins will develop over time. And then we'll send those staves down to Jerez where they make sherry. And we have, we have partners there uh, at, at Cooperages. We're master coopers. We'll build those staves into casks. Uh, toast the inside with fire, season those new casks with sherry, uh, which, which is handled through our, our partners in the sherry world. We work a lot with Gonzales Baez, which is one of the most renowned sherry producers in Jerez. And after th about three more years, the sherry's made and our newly seasoned casks are ready to make the journey to us at the McAllen. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. So for food pairings, I know you guys are doing a lot tonight with the food pairings. Yeah. What do you recommend and what do you like and why? Well, I would say if you're if you're um, if you're enjoying one of our sherry oak whiskeys, the 12 year, the 18, or something with as much intense flavor as rare cask, I'm probably looking at either a, a, a rich um, succulent meat like a like a braised short rib or maybe a dry aged steak. Moving into anything that's got dark chocolate in it is going to be a home run with those whiskeys so in the dessert world. The fine oak range of whiskeys, the 10 year, the 15, I'd probably go a little lighter. I'm looking for maybe even maybe even some raw bar items, crab or fresh fresh oysters. Um, blue cheeses are lovely. Uh, maybe uh, you can you can start to move into some proteins as long as they're they're lighter. Maybe. Uh, chicken. I recently had a cured shrimp dish with the Fine Oak 15 that was served with a canary melon, orange, and a clove and palm sugar agridolce. It was amazing. Now that you're making me hungry, <laughs> we have to stop this interview right, and go enough. on. But thank you so much for everything. If we want to find you, or yep. how does anyone get involved in these events? Where can they get involved? Well, that's a great question. We actually uh, are launching a new uh, sort of Friends of the Brand program called the McAllen New Masters. Uh, and you can get access to information about all our products and what's going on at the distillery, as well as uh, upcoming events. Um, uh, and you can look for that on our website. Uh, you can all, which is uh, themcallan.com, or you can you can reach out to me directly at McAllen Craig on Twitter and Instagram. He has the best advice ever. Thanks, Kim.